afternoon, Joe Victor with Allendale Incorporated, and it is Thursday, April 8th. We're less than 24 hours out from USDA WASDE report. That'll come out Friday morning, April 9th at 7.30 Central Standard Time. And, of course, Allendale is looking for an increase. Take a look at the webinar that we posted on the front page of the website. That'll give you the specifics, but we are looking for an increase in corn, and that's primarily coming from the quarterly stocks report. Don't confuse quarterly stocks with projected ending stocks, but with lack of demand that is showing up for the corn, we are going to see higher ending stocks. We believe that we're going to see higher soybean stocks, a little bit lower on the wheat stocks, and of course you can compare where we are presently, estimates that Allendale has gone ahead and issued. At the same time, compare that the estimates that we have are very close to the average industry uh, trade guesstimate at this point in time. So you're going to see our estimates and trade average is about the same. Of course, along with that, you're also going to see not only the quarterly stocks with, or the ending stocks within the United States, but you're also going to see ending stocks projections primarily in the world and of course not really no change when it comes to the wheat but corn and beans granted Allendale did increase production when it comes to South America principally Argentina Brazil and that was both for corn and soybeans export sales released them this morning and it was essentially bullish for everything except for soybean oil do want to make sure that you are aware that when you look at this year compared to a year ago, where are we? Now, you know, as bad as the wheat is, at 78% cumulative export sales versus where we were a year ago at this time, we're, we're 78%. Corn's about 130%, and I'm sorry, uh, soybeans at 134%, and corn slightly more than a year ago. We're at 108% of year ago levels. So, what we saw today was primarily a little bit of profit taking before the trade actually is going to see USDA's April Wednesday. You trade that for first but maybe five minutes and then of course attention turns to the weather. Weather suggests that we get fully underway and typically by, we're going to estimate at this point in time when you look at the April 19th NAS report that comes out on progress and conditions. Conditions when it comes to wheat, there were some singe areas in the West Texas region, of course. Uh, Oklahoma, Kansas escaped a lot of that damage. And, of course, when it comes to planting progress, the 19th of April, we anticipate, of course, that you'll see we get into middle of April that we're going to have some good planting progress when it comes to corn. Plenty of moisture out there. It's only northern half of Wisconsin right now that needs in order to uh, per pick up some precip in order to get back to a positive uh, Palmer drought index. Cattle, same thing. You know, I used to see that we did see uh, 10150 actual trade. That's five dollars higher in the cash markets. Higher this week in the Southern Plains versus where we were a week ago. Nice to see that uh, we did see a higher cash value, higher uh, selects and choice. And of course, that came out Thursday or came out late Wednesday. And of course, see some higher numbers. But again, a little bit of profit taking within that market again, uh, taking a little bit of steam out of the market in front of that USDA wants to report. When it comes to specific trade recommendations, we're asking you to make sure that you check out the Allendale Advisory Report, whether it is in the grains, livestock, or in the softer energy sectors, and make sure that you check out not only the fundamental aspect of it, but take a look at the Allendale Advanced Charts. And of course, top of the page, you're going to see, of course, where you can take full uh, benefit of renewing your subscription to Allendale Advisory Report. Any questions about that, feel free to give us a call. This is Joe Victor with Allendale Incorporated with a closing commentary for April 8th. And of course, number to call 800-2-MARKET, 1-800-262-7538. Thank you and good luck tomorrow morning.